Hi, hey, it's Cindy and Tony, and we are just about ready to start while well, we've started our cross-country journey from Seattle to Miami to take Kumbu on a plane. So this is going to be a very dog-centric trip. Um, we just got done having breakfast. We're still in Washington. Um, we're heading across eastern Washington. Today we'll arrive in Missoula. So we wanted to bring you guys along for the journey. Uh, we're trying to focus on making sure that our dog is happy. And so it's going to be a little different than most of our trips. Um, this one's definitely centered around Kumbu. Um, we want to show them the sights of our country. So go ahead and join along and let's go. So we're here in Wallace, Idaho, and Wallace is a really good place to like take the dog out for a walk. Um, super cute historic district. Um, and so Kumbu, you ready to go? Should we go? Should we go look at stuff? Let's go look at stuff. After exploring the really cute town of Wallace, stop by and get yourself an ice cream cone. Here at the Red Light Garage, Super dog friendly. Your dogs need to be on a leash um, and also need to be friendly with patrons and any other dogs that might be in there. But we actually were able to take Kumbu inside the restaurant and let me tell you, this is a cool restaurant. But right now we're going to be on our way to Yellowstone. We're going straight through and we should be there pretty soon. So let's find out what they have that's dog friendly. Today was a fail, huh? We didn't get to go to Yellowstone. We didn't get to eat in a restaurant. We didn't get to run a lot. We did get to go to the Tetons, but we are here at what's supposed to be a dog friendly hotel. So let's see how this works for you. Should we go look at your room? Let's go. Come on, I'm Do you like it? Come on. So this is the cowboy cabins and this place is dog friendly. So this is where we're gonna be staying tonight with Kumbu. Did you really get us bunk beds? Yeah. Which one do you want? I'm taking the top bunk. Why are you doing the top bunk? We'll find out once you go to bed tonight. <laughs> hey guys, it's super early here in Wyoming um, at Jackson. So we are heading out super early this morning so that we can have a chance to see Bryce Canyon today. Bryce Canyon's just a drive through uh, stop for Kumbu. Kumbu's not really allowed out of the car, just right along the road. He can only be like so far in like 50 feet or something off the road. So he will be mostly in the car. So Bryce is just gonna be kind of a drive-through experience for us, but we should get there right about golden hour. So pretty excited to see it. Okay, we are heading towards Bryce Canyon right now. You know, if there's one thing that I know, it's that you can't control the weather. 
and right now it is 42 degrees it is raining sideways Kumba's out for another walk um, I'm staying inside while Tony takes him out guys it's freezing and we're gonna we're about to go look at something that's always shown with like sunny photos but we're gonna go see it in the rain and the cold you can't predict the weather and we're just gonna take it as it is hey there so we made it to Bryce Canyon it was super raining as you guys saw but we got here the Sun has come out the skies are blue and we are looking at Bryce Canyon we aren't gonna have time this trip to actually go explore and this is a Kumbu centric trip um, but this is definitely some place we're gonna come back and do some hiking at up at Bryce Canyon and now we're headed to Kanab, Utah. I found the coolest place that is super dog centric. So it's called Best Friends Animal Society. I don't know. They've got a store, they've got a little restaurant, they've got a hotel, and they have an animal sanctuary. And so all of the money they earn from the lodging and the little store and everything, it all goes to the animal sanctuary where they rescue animals. So I think it's pretty cool to stay there. Plus it's super dog centric. Wait till you see it. Kumbu, do you want to see the, where you're going to stay tonight? Let's look. So this is kind of cool. It's got a door right here. So it, it allows you to have the animal in the room. Um, you can still go outside and, the, and your dog can't get out. Dogs are allowed to stay here by themselves. So you've got a little sitting area over here. If you happen to have a cat with you, they've got a cat tree. Um, here's the sitting area. It comes with a pet dish. So these are cleaned in between uses. So water and food dish right there. Nice big king bed. You guys saw last night that we had a twin size bed, or we had two uh, bunk beds. Uh, Tony wasn't super keen on that, so tonight we have a nice king size bed. Now here is the closet area and TV. Um, they also have, right here, they've got a refrigerator for you. Um, so if you needed to keep some dog, some fresh dog food in there, that's doable. And then coming around here, we have these really nice big barn doors that lead into the bathroom. So we'll open that up. Nice bathroom area with a mirror, sink. Over here is the shower. Are you thirsty, Kumbu? So this is Kumbu's digs for uh, today and tomorrow. Oh, but let's show them the best part, Kumbu, right there underneath the bed. We have a pull-out doggy bed. All right, so this is um, Best Friends is the name of the resort. It's Best Friends Mercantile. And tomorrow we're going to be taking a tour of the Best Friends Sanctuary. I am so thrilled to be able to feature Best Friends on this video. So one of the things that we're super excited about doing while we're in Kanab, Utah, is coming to Best Friends Animal Sanctuary. Now we're staying at the Best Friends Mercantile, which is um, a 
hotel in town that you've seen in the video so far. But this is where the money goes. So this is a 4,000 acre sanctuary. It's the largest in the United States. Um, and so we're really excited to see the work they do and kind of bring a focus on it to everybody. If you're coming down to Southern Utah, make sure you come to Best Friends Sanctuary. We've stopped to grab a quick bite at the Angel Cafe. This is at the Best Friends Animal Sanctuary. Now, one of the things I learned was that they can house over 1,300 animals at the No Kill Sanctuary. So that's kind of cool. Uh, lunch is served from 11.30 to 1, and it's $5. Donations appreciated. Um, so yeah, we're gonna just have a quick bite. Then we're gonna see if they have a tour available. And for right now, we're just gonna enjoy this view. So we just went in and got a, accepted to do a tour of the pig, goat, and donkey facility. So most of you know that we used to have goats and pigs, and I'm super in, thrilled with donkeys. So pretty excited to see this part of the tour. Um, again, these guys have over 1,300 animals, everything from parrots to donkeys, baby goats, dogs, cats. Um, bunnies everything so let's take a look but he's such a pretty guy he's only three years old goats can generally live between 14 to uh, 18 years uh, so he's just a baby and he is our largest goat at right at about 180 to 200 pounds <laughs> he's a boar b-o-e-r a lot of that is kind of just mud that just stays on there yeah. uh, and they do that to help keep bugs off of them uh, if anyone here has heard the saying, sweating like a hog, pigs don't sweat. That's why we have mud baths for them to help cool down, as well as when they cover themselves with mud, it helps keep bugs off of them. We, oh, great. This guy loves attention. So pigs have pretty poor eyesight. So we've arrived at our destination for the evening. Uh, this is in West Monroe, Louisiana, and Kumbu is loving it. We're looking right out over the river, some houseboats out in front. And inside the bus, super cute. Little seat up here. Coming back through. Bathroom with a full shower. And this is where we'll be laying our heads tonight. that it came from endangered to 
viable again. Um, so yeah, we're heading back into the to the bayou and see what we can find. see water moccasins we didn't see alligators no bears no deer lots of bird noise um but really not much of anything else but it was a nice walk we're in the sun um so let's go see what else we can find <laughs>
Okay, so this is what you guys picked. Um, I think you can see the dock out there in the distance. It's actually in front of a different house. Um, gotta love VRBO. We do have access to the dock, but it's not like this is front and center. So Kumba will give us the tour. Kumba's loving it because compared to the places he's been staying for the last two weeks, AKA hotel rooms, this just has a ton of room in it. Um, so we don't have any need for these two rooms, uh, nice bathrooms, big kitchen. Apparently we're going to need to use the kitchen because there's only like one restaurant in the area. We are in the middle of BFE, um, big bass fishing area, I, I believe. So there's fishing lodges everywhere, um, but not anything else. So we are going to go to the local Dollar General tonight and see if we can at least round up some coffee and some uh some creamer so we can at least have coffee in the morning but yeah this will be peaceful for sure uh there will be no neighbors to give us any noise uh but as far as proximity to everything well it's a good thing we've learned how to drive <laughs>